Hey, what's going on, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? It's E major lesson learned, but you already knew that. Met up with Jazz so she could get her shit out my house. Get all her shit out my house. Did you she get all your shit out my house? She didn't well. She didn't want me to take myself out. She got all her shit <laughs> out my house. Right. Look, look, look. Hold on, y'all. You too, baby. You like too. You showing my business? <laughs> it's your business. <laughs> this is my business. <laughs> and we happen to have on the same color shirt. This is. You a stalker. <laughs> nah. Mm. So yeah, now nah, she came to get her um her stuff. Been at my house since we broke up back in March. Look at she's sad. She's the uh, she's crying. She been crying ever since I've been down here. She didn't want to come upstairs to get it, so I had to bring it down because she was like, you know, the sight of my apartment make someone to cry because you know she's gonna miss you know, nah just kidding <laughs> yo this holding this uh thing like this is hurting my thumb as you already got as you guys already seen the video with me when i explain my little spillage as i call it yo my thumb is still hurting i don't have a bandage but um yeah hurts Hey, what's going on? It's E-Major and this is Lesson Learn. What's going on, everybody? Before I get started, my head is cut off a little bit. I hope y'all don't mind. But y'all see this display of food I have right here. So it's telling you that I'm doing a mukbang, mukbang, however you want to call it. You know what I mean? I hope everyone is doing well mentally, physically, emotionally, and financially. Hope your day is going well as well. So like I said, I'm doing a mukbang. Um, I have two um, vegan cheeseburgers and um, some tater tots. And um, I'm hungry, so I'm going to get right to it for real, for real. And I have some talk for y'all, too. I got some little talk I want to talk about. Oh, by the way, for my drinks, I have some um, water. I drank a bowl of my alkaline water, so this is what I have left. Some Poland Spring. And I also have a cold one. Yeah, so I'm going to pray, and I'm going to get started. Yes, so like I said, I made this food myself. I have not patronized any restaurants since this COVID thing has came about. So I hope y'all see the food good or whatever. I have it on something to prop up the food, so I hope you see well. Tater tot, mm, tater tots, whatever. Mm. I have some ketchup on the side, some packaged ketchup that I got from Whole Foods because it's where I mainly go shopping. It's vegan ketchup. I'm going to open up. Y'all really can't. I hope y'all can see me because I keep. Okay. Hope you guys eating something good with me. Let me know what y'all eating. And I washed off the um packages. As you can see, it's like it's wet because I washed it with soap and stuff. I see a lot of people doing um, mukbangs and... What they do is, they say, well, I'm not going to open it with my mouth. I'm going to open it with my hands. And they do that, granted. But then they touch their food after touching the dirty packet. So it doesn't matter at this point. You can open it with your mouth because you still contaminating your food. But anyway, that's here or there. So like I said, I washed the package, but I'm still going to put a little oh, hand sanitizer in my hand. Running out of hand sanitizer. But at any rate, I clean everything off. When I go food shopping, I come home, I clean everything off. Anyway, another. Mm. Tater tots. Who love tater tots? So nostalgic. Bring to childhood. I see that vegan bat burger, that vegan cheese, melt it, right? 
A lot of y'all don't know about that. Y'all don't know that vegan cheese can milk. Like milk cheese. Cheese from cow milk. I got the ketchup on my, um, they kind of sloppy. It's all good. They homemade burgers, which is always the best. Got a little ketchup there, but, um, they looking kind of crazy. It's all good. It's going to taste good. See the cheese right there sliding off. Um, pickles. Aesthetically, I know it doesn't look so great, but trust me, it's going to taste good. I got this pickle. Got the, uh, cheese, the onions, the lettuce. Uh, for my mixed greens, I put the lettuce on. So what is it? The burger, the cheese, the onions, um, tomato, pickle, and um, and the sauce that I made. Vegan spread I made. So let's taste it. Put cheese inside. It looks like a regular burger, right? So good. Hope it's focusing. That's good. That's real good. Mm, don't have any napkins. <laughs> Look at more. <laughs> this is delicious. There's nothing like a cooked burger. I know most people like to go to restaurants and get their burgers or what have you, but cooked burger, your own seasoning. You let it marinate. Because I let these burgers marinate with um liquid smoke, um garlic, onion salt, um and it's this um marinade dressing that I brought from Whole Foods and I let it sit for like four hours in the refrigerator. So good. But I'm a little thirsty. While we at it, um, where did I put? Let's play some things. Where did I put? Okay, let's just open it. I brought out two um <laughs> two uh bottle openers or whatever. I'm gonna let y'all hear this as I open it. Let's see. Jeez, e, can you open this? Y'all hear that? There you go. All those people that like beer, there you go. Good Heineken, not sponsored. <sighs> okay, so let's talk a little bit. So, I was thinking of what can I talk about? And I said, like, all right, I got something to talk about. How do you guys feel about people trying to find love in the workplace? How do you feel about that? Do you think people truly can find love in the workplace? Because there's really people that start new jobs and they feel like, you know what, I'm single. If it's some single men, women, or whatever you prefer there, I'm going to try it out. Now, me personally, I have never started a job and thought to myself, damn, I didn't bring any napkins, and I'm not getting up. I never thought to myself, I'm going to find a girlfriend here, some romantic interest. Never thought that. That's just me. 
but I have noticed over the years at my job a lot of women come there and start working and they're more focused on the guys that work there than the actual job. Okay, let me give you a scenario. Wait, let me let me give you this scenario first. If you was working with certain men for a certain amount of years and you practically knew them like the back of your hand, you know, they run through women. They talk a lot of game. They got a wife and a kid at home, but they still out there cheating and stuff like that. They're your co-workers. You knew them for years. And then a woman start working at the job, vulnerable, single, want someone to be with. Not just a one night stand, not just a sexual thing, but someone actually they want to be with. You take a liking to this person, not a liking in terms of you want a romantic thing with them, but that they cool and you can see them as a potential friend. So you want to warn them so bad about the player ways of the guys at the job, but you don't. You give little subliminals. But you don't really go out, you don't really go out of your way to say, like, look, be careful. I know you're looking for something, but this ain't it. You don't say that. My question is, should you warn the person? Or you have some type of loyalty with those guys that you have worked with for years? And you think the, you think the woman is cool, you think she's cool or what have you? I'm not getting into no mess. I, I just can't do it. It's just like having a best friend and seeing her man cheating and you tell her, you're like, I've seen your man so-and-so with this type of, with this person. This is the mixed green. With this person, and she's like, for real, what else you seen? And she's just egging you on, wanting to know everything that went down. And you just telling her, you just telling her everything that you saw. She go confront her man. He tell her a bunch of lies. And then she blame you for trying to break up their happy home. She know that her man is cheating, but she don't want to come to that conclusion that he's cheating. So she's blaming you, her best friend, for spreading lies. So, if you tell the new girl that your co-worker is a player, been playing mad girls or whatever, nine times out of ten, she's going to tell dude. She's going to tell dude, I heard about you. I heard you be doing this. I heard you be doing that. And then it's going to become a big thing at work. So, that's why me personally, I wouldn't say anything. I would let her find out for herself. If you're not into vibes and energy... And that's on you. I have been put in that situation that I'm telling you about. And I ain't tell old girl nothing. I ain't tell her nothing. When she told me what was going down, I just kept saying in my head, like, <laughs> she's going to get hurt. She's going to get hurt, but it's not my place. It's not my place. So, it's not just women that do that. Men do that too. I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, it's only women that um, be trying to um, find a love interest at work or whatever. No, it be men too. They go in there, or not even a love interest, just go in there, try to bag in everybody. 
You know what I'm saying? So it's not, excuse me, this thing got me belching. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. So it's just not men. I mean, just not women. Let me be honest with you guys. This is for aesthetic reasons, because... <laughs> I ain't going to eat two burgers. Even though I eat this kind of fast, but that's why I was real hungry. When I came home from work, I took a nap. So... Yeah, so guys, tell me what y'all would do. You know, would y'all warn the person that this particular person is going to hurt your heart, break your heart, or whatever? Because there are really people out there that really go to new jobs and really to try to find love. And I get it. I get it. Some people have really met people and they're in relationships with. And sometimes it's like you with these people at your job for eight hours, ten hours, however long you work, and five days a week. So at sometimes you you build this bond and you become friends and then it becomes romantic. I get it. I totally get that. And some relationships have started at work. But you can't go in until that job, that new job, and think to yourself, like, I'm definitely going to find someone that's for me. I'm definitely looking. And the worst thing, here's, here's the clue to watch out for. That you know the man is just up to no good. If he's up there feeding you stuff that other people said about you, like, for instance, if he's like, this dude right there want to get with you, but I wouldn't get with him because so and so and so. That guy right there, all he do is like, when he's trying to, when he's talking about other guys to make him look like the good guy, then you know right off the bat, it's like, nah, I be. Then what about you? You spending too much time talking about the next man and tell, instead of, you know, letting her know how you truly feel. I have, when I was younger, I was working this job. And, um, I was working this job. And, this young lady started working there and I thought she was cute or whatever. And, um, I remember telling my coworker that I was like, yo, she's cute, but nah, I ain't going to talk to her. I'm not going to talk to her, whatever. And she was like, nah, why don't you, you don't you know, whatever. So I was like, first of all, I don't even know if she's lesbian, gay, bisexual, whatever. Cause me, um, I don't just step up to people like that. You know what I'm saying? That's not, no, I have to get, <laughs> I had to get some type of vibe that let me know, like, you know what I'm saying? What's your preference? So I remember one day having a conversation, and she jumped into it. And that's how I found out. Make a long story short, short story shorter. We became cool, started hanging out, or what have you. And at the job I was working with, I had a real cool, close friend. And we was mad cool, telling each other stuff, secrets, whatever. So we'd be really talkative at the job. So... The girl and I that I was talking to at the time, I wouldn't call her my girlfriend. We was dating. Um, we got into a little thing, you know what I'm saying? Nothing major, because she wasn't my girl. We was just dating. So we stopped talking. So I remember her coming into work, and me and my uh, my friend, my work friend, we was having our usual powwow, talking, or whatever the case may be. And... She thought we were talking about her. And we wasn't talking about her. We was having our usual talk that we have. So I stay away from job relationships. Anything that have to do with any intimacy that have to do with people with my job. Like, I can't deal with that crap. That's just something I won't do. But anyway, I will cut this video short because my battery is running out. I'm getting text messages. So make sure you like, subscribe, share. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend so we can all be friends. Until next video, I hope y'all stay safe, stay blessed, E major, lesson learned, and I'm out.